I said, I'm counting my money so I can't hear you. Hey, spend it. <laughs> How? Money fall on me. Tum, tum. Banana fall on me. Tum, tum. No, no banana pico. Just money. Money fall on me. Tum, tum. Money fall on me. Hey, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. You guys, if you are interested in being more productive in 2021 so that you can achieve more goals and make more money, then you definitely, definitely need to keep watching this video. Okay? <laughs> Hmm, if you don't know, I'm an Igbo girl. Oh. I'm an Igbo girl and this money is very important to me. <laughs> you see this money? Mwah, very sweet. I don't think that there's anybody that does not like money. I like money. You too, you like money. Don't lie. Don't pretend. I know you. You like money. <laughs> so now the question is, how do we make this money in 2021? How do we make more money in 2021? <laughs> Guys, money does not fall from the skies, neither does it grow on trees. For you to make more money, you have to be very hardworking. Now, that is where productivity comes in because productivity is the ability to complete more work in a shorter amount of time so that you can achieve more goals. You get me? You get me? Mm -hmm. How do you become productive? That is why I'm here. And you have me now. You don't need to be scared. I am here for you. I'm here to give you eight tips not one not two eight tips on how you can be more productive in 2021 so guys let's just <laughs> let's just get right into this video okay first off productivity is a habit mm -hmm. for you to eventually have a productive 2021 you have to have had a lot of productive days in the year you understand it is daily productivity that comes together to make up a productive year so First of all, you have to just visualize yourself as a productive person. Mm? Yes. Just sit down one day. Think about your life. Think. How would my life be if I was more productive? How would my life be if I stopped procrastinating and start doing? Like, how would my life be if I have 10 things to do and I'm able to achieve those 10 things in a day? How does that make you feel? Just imagine it. How? Just imagine it. How does that make you feel? It makes you feel happy, right? Yes, it will make you feel more fulfilled. And after visualizing yourself as a more productive person, you get to work. <laughs> it's not after imagining, oh, I'll be rich, oh, I'll be more successful, oh, you now go and sleep. Are they doing you? Are they doing you from the village? No. Draft a schedule or a to-do list. Yes, you have to plan so that it can serve as a guideline as to what you need to do so that you don't end up doing so many unnecessary things that will not pay off in the end, okay? Yes, you have to plan and you have to plan early. You have to draft this schedule in time. If you need this schedule for the next day, you draft it the night before. If you need it for the next month, you draft it early so that you can start strategizing means that will help you to achieve these set down goals, okay? Yes. Now, how do you draft a schedule? For you to draft a schedule, you have to understand yourself, okay? Some people, some people work better in the mornings while others work better at night. So you find out the time of the day when you are more active, when you are more hyper, mm? when you are more productive. And then you put the tasks, the harder tasks, the more difficult tasks at the time when you are most active, okay? And then you put the lesser or the less demanding tasks at the time when you know you start getting tired also when you're drafting a schedule you have to allocate time what are just you know your capability so you know how much time that will be best for you to be able to finish a particular task so you allocate time to each task that's the second step and then you batch tasks up you batch up tasks okay if you have to go to the bank and you're going to pay your school fees and you know you have another thing to sort out in the bank, you put it together so that you can achieve all of them at once. So that once you leave that bank, you know that you're done with everything you have to do in the bank. Do you understand? You batch tasks up. So now you have a schedule, you have a to-do list. The next step is 
to stay away from distractions guys if you need to put off your phone so that you can concentrate and complete a particular task please switch your phone off if you know that staying by the window will distract you it will have you daydreaming then stay away from the window stay away from the door so that you can you can just concentrate and accomplish that task in a shorter period of time and move on to the next we are all about complete accomplishing a task fast 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 and moving on to the next so to be able to do this effectively you have to avoid any any form of distraction if your co-worker is a gister is a gist, gist and she will use this and distract you my dear change seats mm? <laughs> the next tip is to be as fast as possible if you have a lot of tasks to accomplish you have to be fast to be productive okay so instead of spending so much time on a particular task, trying to be perfect at it, why don't you just do a satisfactory job, do your best, do a decent job, and move on to the next, okay? You cannot always be perfect, especially if you have a large amount of tasks. But being fast does not mean that you now do it shabbily, or you will not do it well, or you look for shortcuts that will, that will reduce the quality of your service. No, no, no. Guys, the next thing is that you have to learn to ask for assistance when you need it. You cannot do everything alone. It's okay to request it's okay to request help when you need it. Instead of spending all day trying to do it by yourself. <laughs> I know, I know that there are a lot of independent ladies. Sometimes I'm like that. I know I cannot do this thing, but I'll say I will do it. I don't need help. I don't want you to help me. I don't need it's okay to ask for help when you need help. Be like Please, I don't understand this, or please, can someone assist me with this so that you can complete complete that task fast and move on to the next. You're not all about dwelling on one task for two hours, three hours. When you know you cannot do it, you'll just be there. Try it, try it. If you cannot do it, you ask for assistance. The next thing, guys, is to learn to congratulate yourself. Yes, as you're doing the tasks on your to-do list, for each one you cross off, tell yourself, oh, my, this girl, you are trying, oh. You are trying home. Congratulate yourself, okay? It's, it's very, very advisable that you congratulate yourself because you are the one who set up these tasks for yourself. So you are your teacher and you are your student. You are the one that gave yourself assignments. So when you accomplish each task, you pat yourself at the back and say, nah, keep pushing, you are trying, okay? So that's the way to do it. For each task, if you have chocolates, after completing each task, you lick one to suit your soul. <laughs> Sometimes you might plan your day and it will not go as you planned because you're not a seer. You're not God. You don't know tomorrow. So you're planning for tomorrow, but you don't really know how it's going to turn out. So just in case you have to procrastinate a particular task or you have to shift a task, that should not make you to feel down or depressed or make you to give up on your to-do list or your productivity schedule. No, 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 okay? When you're planning your next schedule, you can always find some time to attach that one that you could not do the previous day and keep moving, okay? The last but not the least tip is, guys, now who they are life now in the day productive? -o. Hmm. Now who they are life the day productive? -o. Find time to rest. <laughs> So you don't break down completely. Being productive is a lot of work. So you have to find the appropriate resting technique that works for you. A lot of people prefer to walk back to back to back to back for a long period of time and then rest at the end of the day. While others cannot, they cannot, um, they cannot survive that pressure, that long hours of working. They have to work for a short time, rest for a short time, work for a short time, rest for a short time, you understand? So you just have to find the appropriate resting technique that works for you and apply it. Sleep! Sleep! Resting. I know when you're resting, you can watch a movie or you can see a movie, you can eat, freshen up and all of that, but please, find time to also sleep. Because when you're watching a movie, your brain is still working. You're eating, your brain is still working. So when you're sleeping, that is when you are resting completely. So guys, please find time to rest, okay? First off... Ah, Jesus. Fine girl, you go just be embarrassed yourself. Hmm? Oh! She naked, man. So, let's get started with this. Yeah! So... Wow.